because of how high he goes. <laughs> like a little hamster. Alri, everybody, welcome to an overdue episode of Jurassic World Evolution mod kind of showcase thing because I don't know what happened recently, but the modding scene has had so many new. Let's just fix that then, shall we? Anyway, where was I? Yes, that's right. There has been so many new kind of mods coming out. There's some really good ones, uh, some weird ones. But trust me, there's going to be one for everybody. I think you'll like one of these. So, first off, how about we show the new and improved Taurus? Are you ready, guys? Are you ready for Taurusaurus? Are you ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> My good God. <laughs> what has science done? Yeah, um, I, I will be the first to admit, I, I definitely don't know. I've never seen this thing before. I've played a very little bit of uh, Minecraft and it was dinosaur Minecraft, meaning that I don't think this was in it. But this is apparently a Ravager and this was created by uh, G J I I E I or Joseba, and uploaded by Putito seven seven seven. Um, and yeah, so you know we're getting there. We're getting. We're starting to add all of the franchises. We've got Garfield, and now we got Minecraft. But that is not the only um franchise that we have coming or has been modded into jurassic world evolution now the thing is with jurassic world evolution they uh, at uh, i think it was gamescom they said that they were releasing or they announced they were releasing jurassic world evolution complete edition every dlc that has been made into the game oh god when you zoom out it goes oh it goes a bit funny Halfway distance, it goes a bit funny there. Oh, brilliant. And that, to me, basically says that that's the end of Jurassic World Evolution. Now, we will see next year with the release of the new movie, Dominion, probably another Jurassic World Evolution game from Frontier. Whether it's Frontier, there'll be another one. Whether I think a lot of us have speculated as it being a first-person or third-person kind of action-adventure kind of game, maybe shooter, shooting elements, I would assume. Um, but, 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 we have, oh, you see this? You see this Giga? This ain't no ordinary Giga. In fact, I think we need to go over here. This Giga, are you ready? Are you ready for the next franchise to be added to Jurassic World Evolution? It is the Isle. <laughs> oh my God, it looks amazing. I love it. The Giganotosaurus. Right, this is created by Commander Blush and also uploaded by Commander Blush. Of course, you can find all of these mods on the Nexus website. I don't know where it's running for. It's running for something. Uh, is it, oh no, it's going for the Ravager. Oh, you're going for water now. You're sniffing for the water. But look at that. Hold on, we need to wait for it to get into the light. Oh, look at you. So gorgeous. So yeah, I don't know how close this is to the actual model that is in Jurassic, uh, sorry, the Isle, but it looks very close, very similar kind of patterns as well. I don't know. I can't, I couldn't say whether or not, actually, should we read the description? It says, um, anyone else a fan of the Isle's Giga design? I am, and I wanted to do this mod for a while. This completely remodels the Giga's proportions and gives it a 100% handmade skin replicated, uh, replicating the Isle's. Oh, okay. Now this fearsome tyrant from the game can be present in your parks with its fearsome design and brilliant colors. This carnivore is not something you want to skip skip out on. Ooh. So, uh, it looks like they, it hasn't been an import. They haven't ripped it from the aisle because I'm sure the aisle will probably have a little bit of something to say about that. But it is handmade to basically look the same as it. But, oh, oh no! Ravager, no! Oh my god, he's gonna he's gonna get absolute. Look at him with his big nose. Is this supposed to be a bull? It's a bit close there. Just just uh just a tad close. I think he's gonna lose though. Yeah, he's, he's definitely lost. Oh no! I kinda just wanna see what happens when he loses. Out of curiosity. Because he's definitely yeah, he's died now. He's dead. It. Oh no, Minecraft! <laughs> The Isle defeats Minecraft. <laughs> Who would have thought you'd see these two images? 
<laughs> it's like that Pokemon image where the more you look at it, the more things are wrong. It's it's a, a Giga Isle with a Minecraft uh, thing in Jurassic World Evolution on the Game of Beaver Channel. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. But we have more to show than just that. We have, if I can actually find it, we have loads of other Gigas because I think they may have made... Uh, all of the other different uh, skins for the Giga. Some you'll definitely recognize. Uh, ooh. Hello. Here's a very dark colored one. Oh, God, I do not know. I don't recognize any of these. <laughs> there is one that is the, the Isle Giga that I definitely recognize. So we'll just see what... Ooh. Like your path. You look pretty. And off you go to go and eat the Ravenger or whatever you want to call it. Have we got one more? Oh, we got one more. Oh, no, that's not it. Don't recognize that one. And what about this one? Oh, nope. Well, anyway, there is one that does look more like the aisle. Anyway, anyway, but we have this guy. Oh, no, we got to go over here first. So this is another new mod taking the uh, Comstock Navis that we know and love. And in fact, tell you what, what I'll do is I'll go down, <laughs> I'll go down really low. Otherwise... We're not seeing this bugger. Look at it. It's so cute. Oh, and it's gone. And it's gone. Are we releasing another one? Release the other one. I want to see it. This is, of course, a Comsock Navis made by the incredibly talented uh, Jagged Fang. Uh, Jagged Fang Designs. They're so cute. Look at them. All feathered. Yeah. <laughs> I will admit, I do honestly love the designs. Oh, look at his little feet go. Is he going to the water? I would assume they're going to the water. I think the water's over. Oh, God, look. Oh, it's coming for him. Can they eat the little compies? I'm sure they would. But, uh, oh, that, well, there's one. Oh, going to sleep. Ah, so tired after killing that thing. Oh, the, are they scared now? They were going for the water. Oh, no, he is. Aren't you? Nope. Damn it, hold still. Oh. Oh, it looks so good. I, I think I'll definitely keep this Giga. Of all the Gigas we've had, oh, this one looks sweet. I love the Al Giga. The fact that I can have it in this game is even better. Where are you going, huh? Where are you running to? Just running around the building towards your death to be trod on. Oh, God, almost. <laughs> but again, that is not only the uh, new mods. No, we have this one. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Hold on. Yes. Yes, look at it. It is the Walking with Dinosaurs poster Sucus. Is it going to do the noise? Nope, that is not the noise. He's got a very weird jaw. <laughs> so this is a Nozudoceratops, and it looks like it's kind of a, a melted pizza put on top of some sort of creature. Uh, its mouth looks really weird. Uh, this is created by Hendrix and uploaded by Putito777. Yes, it definitely reminds me of a melted pizza or a toasty or something. The fact that it's so bloody shiny and just the, gra the graphics or the textures on top look like they've just melted. <laughs> However, a Giga has already chosen to kill it and have a little bit of an Italian for dinner. I'm expecting it not to last more than two seconds. And there it goes. Is that 45%? Yep, 45% is an instant kill. Oh, never mind. It actually got a hit off. How much that? It did 73 damage. But it um, it's definitely not going to last much longer, that's for sure. And there it goes. Ooh, what big teeth you have. No. Little Posto, melted cheese pizza, no! Well, there you have it. Isle wins again. Isle has beaten Minecraft and now it's beaten Walker with dinosaurs. But throughout this whole time, there has been another mod that you have not seen. But if you had a sharp eye, you might have seen it. It is this. This is a new fence mod. Unfortunately, because I am in Jurassic Park era, I can't show the best fence. I can only show... Uh, well, these really, unfortunately. I think there's only a couple that have changed in the Jurassic World era. Oh, sorry, Jurassic Park era. And th that is this. Um, so this is the concrete electric fence. So this mod is one of the best mods in the entire game because it doesn't really change how the game plays. So this is created by Mr. Trodon. 
Oh, we've seen him before. So basically, um, especially with the Jurassic World era fence, we might even check it out, but we'd have to have to reload it. Um, it, it for the smaller fence, and I'll probably throw up some images so you can see them properly, actually. That, that's probably a better way. So it gives your concrete fence in Jurassic World a Indominus Rex paddock look from the um, concept and from the movie. Uh, also, the light fence is tiny it's brilliant i love it. it's like you can have a petting zoo in jurassic world because fences serve and there were only one purpose and that is to go head to toe like at the tallest point to the bottom and restrict the dinosaur from escaping but if this fence was implemented in the game there'd obviously be dinosaurs that could jump out but because it's a mod sorry i made a nice little popping sound Sorry, I get distracted. Because this is a mod, it means that that tiny little fence, not this one showing now, but that one that is in the Jurassic World era, um, they don't jump out and it kind of serves the purpose of if you want to have an enclosure, it does look like, you know, it could be a petting zoo. That's your, you can do it. It's so cool. So with that out of the way, how about this mod made by J11EI or JEEI or JIIEI and uploaded by Putito77, this thing. Oh, this looks so cool. If you're a fan, another franchise coming to Jurassic World Evolution. Here it is. The future predator, I think, from Primeval. Oh, my God. That looks absolutely terrifying. Oh, it looks so terrifying. Jeez, hold on. I need to read this. Yeah, based on Primeval's future predator, this mod replaces Indoraptor. I thought I recognized it. It looks horrendous. Oh my god, hold on, we need to get a closer look. Oh god, oh, you're, you're just running over? Oh, okay. Ooh, all right then. Oh, you're running over. Oh, okay. <laughs> all the gigas are coming back for it. <laughs> He's like, no, this is my water. I will drink from it. Oh, bless it. It's like, no, I wanted to go over there. I guess I'll just walk over this way. So, wow. If you haven't seen Primeval, you should check it out. It's a really good series. Um, and I love what they've done with it. They've definitely just smushed the face all down into one. So if you remember, or if you have seen Primeval... Oh, it's killing Giga! Oh, no! Is the owl going to suffer to a very old TV series that only... Well, I think... Did it only air in the UK? It's definitely a UK series. Um, so this thing hunts only by uh, sound. So it's like um, a supersonic kind of hunting creature a bit like the silent place i suppose it kind of hunts very similar uh but i'm expecting it to win even though it's just been bitten twice by the bloomin giga but i love like the interruptor just lends itself so well to this kind of model oh is it gonna kill it is it gonna kill it Ooh, i don't know unless it's gonna bite again oh they're calling it off they're calling it off that's actually probably better for the uh future predator. So if you didn't know, Primeval is a series where it's a group of people, they find these anomalies that go to the past, and they, I don't know, they try and close them up or find out what's causing them. And then, unsuspectedly in a plot twist, one from the future appears. And uh, this futuristic predator comes out. It's so cool. I remember seeing that episode. Now, I haven't seen the series in such a long time, and I probably need to rewatch it. Because um, there's loads of it, 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 for, you know what? It's not a bad series. I just remember watching the first one, and I remember them being in the underground, and there was like an Arthur Plura. Basically, BBC had all of these um, expensive CGI models for their series as like Walking with Monsters. Oh, look, now they all get along. They're all having water. Oh, isn't that nice? Future and past, drinking together. Uh, yeah, so you had... One with monsters, one with dinosaurs, one with beasts, all this jazz. They all had all these expensive CGI models, and they were like, how can we make more money from this? I know, Primeval, that'll do it. <laughs> Except for this thing wasn't in any of them. And they just made it itself. I, oh, I love that the snout is all like, it, it definitely doesn't look completely like it. Like it had more of a bulbous head if I remember right. But the front of it, the snout and stuff looks great. And the tail and everything. Oh, I didn't even know if it had a tail. Oh god, what's go oh god, that's that's probably more Oh Jesus <laughs> It's tails inside it stuff. Oh no. Look at it prowl, it's unsuspecting prey. Oh, so the, you're on 62% and the giga's on 40 Oh look at that, 42%. But the uh future predator managed to gain Oh and no, he's getting two more percent while waiting. Oh no, he is also gaining as well. Oh nope, yep, he's definitely gonna die. Oh, looks so cool! 
I love him. Go, give him another bite. Go on. Even though the Giga's head's probably the same size as the future predator, his entire body, um, he's going to win somehow because of nepotism on, on, on Universal's part. Look at that. Look at Giga, man. It looks so cool. I don't know what happened, but recently we just had some really good mods. I think the Garfield opened the door for those. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, yes. Oh, that looks sweet. Oh, that's so cool. Ah. Nope, not going to roar. <laughs> There's something terrifying as well about something not having a face. As humans, we, we deliberately try to find faces in things. And the fact that this doesn't really have eyes or anything like that, it just adds to the, the terror of it. Oh, it's so cool. But anyway, guys, this was going to be a short video. And the sunlight ah, is coming in and killing me, apparently. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I wasn't expecting to make a video, but when I saw all these amazing mods, I was like, I gotta do it. I gotta. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.